Thank you, Pastor, for allowing us to have the opportunity to preach. And let's just um, open in a word of prayer. Good Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to, to give a message from you, Lord. I pray it would not be my word, but your word. Lord, I pray the message that we bring would, would help each person in their life and uh, be an encouragement to each person. And, and may it challenge us in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. When, uh, we, we've all heard many uh, messages on, on prayer and asking things from God. And um, sometimes uh, preaching and the real world cause us to, uh, to question what we've, we've heard about preaching and uh, about, about prayer. And I've heard lots of different messages on prayer. I've heard people say different things. And I've met people that are very bitter because they didn't get their prayers answered also. And so, um, what I just want to ask is, are we praying the right way? Let's examine our prayer. The, um, the example of prayer is set out by the Lord Jesus Christ in uh, Matthew chapter 6. And let's just turn there. We're just going to have a look at some things and, and just have a look at maybe why, why prayer hasn't been answered. I know for one, uh, I haven't had every prayer answered the way that I want. How many of you would say, I oh, know that's for sure. I've prayed for things and I've prayed for people to get better and they died. I've prayed for uh, something to work out and it didn't work out. And uh, the thing is, in the real life, not all of our prayers get answered the way that we want. Now I'm thinking that some people, they seem to get their prayers answered all the time, but I asked in faith and I didn't get it. Um, I, I prayed with two or three gathered in my name, I didn't get it. And um, I asked in the name of Jesus Christ and I didn't get it. And I've often wondered why. And uh, to give a brief testimony, I was a little bit confused because there were some things I didn't get one day. But then I was reading the Bible and I understood why I didn't get it. And it's a blessing and it's an honour to know that I didn't get it because, well, God's got something better. Let's read um, in the Bible, it says, um, in Matthew chapter 6 and verse number 9, it says, Be not therefore like unto them for your father know of what things you have need of before you ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forget our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer, it's, um, it's not a Catholic prayer, we shouldn't be afraid of praying it. Um, it's a Bible prayer. And the Lord Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 11 said, when you pray, he said, say this. He didn't say, uh, make up some kind of example and follow my outline. He actually said, say it. He said, pray the Lord's Prayer. Um, in verse number, in verse number uh, 10, it said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. See, uh, I've often prayed for things and I've often gone to God and said, God, this is what I really want to happen. But then God's kind of rebuked me over the years and he said, who are you to play God and tell me what to do? So and I looked at the Bible and I said, the thing that God wants us to pray is he wants us to pray that God's will is done in our life. And you know what? More than I want my will done in my own life, I want God's will done in my life. More than, uh, more, more than me trying to tell God what I want him to do, I want to, I want to know that I, I ask God, God says you can make a request. But don't get bitter if God doesn't answer your request. Just understand one thing, that God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And God does whatever He pleases. And there's circumstances in life. I meet many people, and people get bitter because they prayed for a loved one, and that loved one died. Somebody prayed for something to get healed, and it didn't get healed. But the thing is that God has reasons why He has, has put that affliction in your life. Maybe it's for you to learn, maybe it's for... And um, there's many different ways, and, and life just takes its course. I mean, everybody's got to die sometimes, so, I mean, just because we died doesn't mean that God didn't answer our prayer. It just meant that um, that was God's will, that that happened at that time. And um, we're praying to pray for God's will. Are we, and um, I looked in the Bible, and I, <clears throat> I saw one instance where Jesus Christ himself submitted himself to God's will. Let's have a look uh, in Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 22 and verse 42. 
Jesus is praying to, to God the Father and he's saying, he's about to uh, go to Calvary, he's about to drink of the cup of the wrath of God and that's an amazing study if you study the cup of the wrath of God. God poured out the wrath of uh, God onto his son Jesus Christ and because he drank of that cup we won't have to drink that cup. The world is going to drink of that cup of wrath in the tribulation. But he said, he said this um, in Luke chapter 22 and verse 42. He said, Father... Uh, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Jesus Christ said, well, I don't really want to drink this cup of wrath. It's not, my, it's not what I really want to do. He said, God, if you're willing, would you be able to take that away? But I'll tell you what, I'm thankful that Jesus Christ drank that cup of wrath. I'm thankful that he went to a cross and that he died. That was the will of God that he died. Sometimes the will of God is not going to be pretty. Sometimes the will of God is not going to be exactly what we want. But the will of God is God's will and God knows why. I don't know what, you, I don't know what you've prayed for. I don't know what it is. But I think a lot of people get bitter before they trust in the Lord that it's his will and not our will to be done in our life. And I hope that helps you. I hope that, that's, um, hope that helps you to, to understand something. But God is in control of every situation. And, and we don't have to get bitter. We don't have to worry, why didn't God give us that? We just need to have the faith and we need to have the trust in God that God knows what he's doing. And what we need to do is we just need to submit ourselves to the will of God. And there's a lot of people that think that the will of God is out there and, and if we go somewhere else, that we'll find the will of God. And I'll also say this to you. God's will is every day and every moment of our life. Where God is, where you are today is God's will. It's not somewhere else. We don't have to go somewhere else to find the will of God. The will of God is here. God's put us on earth for a purpose. And the, the what of the will of God is more important than I believe the where of the will of God. I believe that if we, uh, if we would serve God in the place we are, some people, that they're waiting for the will of God. They're waiting for some circumstance to happen where they can serve God. But every time I look in the Bible, God used the man where he was. And then when, when that man was being used, then God used that man. Beautiful. That's a good thought, brother. Just do the will of God where you are and, and uh, you'll see God's hand on your life. Okay. Uh,